What is up, guys? This is Pinzo back with another video today, and what I have for you guys is some huge news for Predecessor and the folks over at Omita Studios. First off, you're looking at the website right now. They got a bunch of money from funding, and we're going to be going over all of that. But before we do, if you go on to enjoy the content, please do leave it a like and a subscribe. It really helps me out. 90% of you guys who watch my videos are not subscribed, so it's just a button for you guys, but it really lets me know that you are enjoying the kind of content that I'm making really helps me make more. I will have more coming out whenever we can play Predecessor and, of course, with all of the news leading up to it. So with that out of the way, let's get into the huge news for the day. Obviously, you're looking at the fantastic-looking website for Predecessor Game. Now, it is still omediastudios.com, so do not go to, to predecessor.com. That's a different website. You got the gameplay trailer. This is the same trailer that we had uh, a couple months ago for the old alphas. Still looks fantastic, still holds up. Wishlist takes you to your Steam, so you can make sure to add it to your wishlist if it's not there already. And with that, you have some roles. You go through carry, jungle, mid, solo, support. Gives you a little details on all of them. The main thing you'll notice is Rampage. I'm assuming this means that we will have Rampage playable whenever the game is playable. I'm not positive on that, but I don't know why he'd be here if he wasn't. Which gives us three new characters since the last alpha. Rampage, Kalari, and Drongo, which means... This is going to be sick. There could even be more. Who knows? They've been cryptic about it. I know they're not trying to give straight answers, so there could be even more characters. There could be 20 characters when it comes out. There could be, you know, just the three that we know of. Who knows? Still looks great. You can see him in the lighting. Looks fantastic. They are hiring for some careers. This is, you know, stuff like graphics and, and uh, real game development stuff. So I don't know a whole lot about this. If you're curious, head over to the website. There will be a link in the description down below. Other than that, you guys can obviously see the giant glowing launch sign up button. If you put in your email here, you will receive an email when the game's ready to play or some other updates. Uh, there will not be spam, so there's no worries to go put in your email. I've, of course, put in like six of mine just in case some weird stuff gets sent out. So naturally, I would do the same if I were you guys. Other than that, the main thing up here is going to be the blogs. We'll go over some of these right now, starting with the big one. Omita Studios closes on $2.2 million of funding. You guys read that correctly. $2.2 million is what Omita secured. This is what we call securing the bag from a couple different funders. You can see uh, GFR Fund uh, with a couple other people. And then, of course, some uh, individuals that are getting in on this as well. This is basically people giving Omita money to develop their game and they will get something in return either further down the line, or it's kind of like a shark tank sort of thing. But we don't know the details, so I won't, I won't go into that. Obviously, we, they have over 35k on Discord. This is actually over 36 right now. And 100,000 signups is pretty incredible for a game right now. Even if you can consider that, you know, half the people sign up with two, that's still 70, 75,000 signups. So this, this is pretty crazy, just the numbers that they have that most people don't see a whole lot. You guys can come read this for yourself. Of course, this is on the website that there is a link to in the description below. It basically is just talking about Robbie or RGS Ace, if you guys know him by that, talking about uh, his community. We'll go over a little more of this. It's, it's a really good read. It's, it's not long, so, so go, at, go ahead and go read it. The link's in the description. Moving over to Twitter, we have this big tweet thread from Tepei Tsutsi. I really hope I'm pronouncing that right. That's my best shot at it. If I'm wrong, correct me in the comments who is one of the heads of GFR Fund, which is an investment company that invests in small tech-based startups, including game companies. They were one of the studios that led to this $2.2 million secured for Omita. And with this, I will let you guys read this. It's quite long, so there will be a link to Tepe's Twitter profile in the description down below. So if you guys want to go give this a read, I highly recommend it. It talks about uh twitch and the community around and the rgs ace and how this came about so it, it's it's pretty interesting i'll let you guys go read that but that's actually all i have for you guys today as always if you enjoyed the content please do leave a like and subscribe so many of you that watch are not subscribed it's just a button for you guys but it really helps me out lets me know that you enjoy the kind of content that i'm making with all that out of the way guys i've been pinzo this video is donezo thank you guys for watching and i will see you guys in the next one